Welcome back, Random TV Reviews, your girl, Lynette. And it's your boy, Stanley. Mm -hmm. Coming in with Power Book 2, Ghost Season 2, Episode 5, Coming Home, home to Roost. Let me tell y'all something. Last week, y'all came home to Roost. <laughs> I don't know why it took 245 of y'all to tell us, Zeke, 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 Zeke. We appreciate y'all letting us yeah. know when we're wrong. <laughs> we appreciate y'all letting us know when we're right. But we're going to get, listen, I don't know how in the hell... We missed that pivotal piece of information last yeah, week. Yeah, we missed it, yeah. But if you know... But hey, we hear me though, so we gonna, miss it. we gonna miss it sometime. And we've been recording every freaking day for the month of December on yeah. our other channel. We <laughs> were out. So forgive a player. Yeah. But we glad to know <laughs> that is that a Zeke is... Belongs to Mecca, man. Yeah. So and, let, and Monet. <laughs> and Monet, yep. So, speaking of Zeke, we start the episode on... We see Davis, Monet... And uh, Zeke going to turn himself in because, you know, last week he bombed that guy doing interview. So we already knew then that Zeke is going to get locked up. So I think it's a good idea for him to go ahead and turn himself in versus trying to hide because I know they're coming for him. So they go to turn him in. So when they get in uh, to the precinct, the dude came out there and they was like, um, we here to turn in Zeke Cross. And he was looking at him like, oh, okay. And Mo, they was like, I thought they was expecting us. So Kamal and Detective Witten and that girl that uh that Saxby bucking yeah. came out there, came out there and was like, you know what? Zeke is free to go. Matter of fact, we got somebody else that's the prime suspect. Cause we know last week of what Kane and Braden did, bringing uh Ramirez's body back. So now that alleviates Zeke. Well, it takes Zeke off the hook at the moment. Yeah. So they were standing around still talking. So Mo, they was like, well, if he can free the girl, go. we need to we get be out. Yeah. So we're not sitting around yeah. for y'all to change our mind. Right. So that's what, that's what <laughs> yeah, that's what black folks say. When you, in the, when you, you don't want to be at the, down there with the cops Too no long. longer than you have to be. <laughs> <laughs> so y'all find something else to Yeah. So just, me. just in case that they are, uh, that changed their mind. So Zeke got off. So then we see, we thought that Tariq was dreaming because we, Went yeah. back to Tariq. So we thought Tariq was dreaming, but he wasn't because he texted Davis and asked Davis when was Zeke turning himself in. He was like, oh, we already right doing now. it. Let me say something about <laughs> Davis McLean. And that texted. For him to be this high-profile lawyer and busy as he is, he answered a text just like that, boy. Yeah. He husband material. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, as soon as they say sin, boom, message come right on back. <laughs> so... We see that this episode that uh, Tariq has Yasmin's, uh, well, the custody hearing for Yasmin is coming up this up this week. So we're going to talk about that more in a minute. But we saw uh, Monet once again call Professor Ingram, told her, um, Zeke is off. But what I told you still stand. Don't you talk to him. Don't you call you him. Don't y'all fuck. You don't even matter. You don't even know Zeke. <laughs> and if I find out that you done disobeyed me, you ain't gonna like I said. You ain't gonna. You, matter of fact, you're gonna be alive, or you ain't gonna have no job. So hopefully, she will listen. That listen this time. Oh, she listened to this time. <laughs> oh, she's listening this time. But however, as soon as that happens, uh, Kamal and Detective Whitman bust in her office and be like, uh, "We still need your help on this case." And she was like, "No, uh, -uh. Nah, uh, uh, I don't want nothing nah. else to do with it. Zeke is off." So I don't want nothing else to do with it. <laughs> and which we already know that Monet just threatened her too. So she don't want a part of it. So Kamal was like, didn't you say you wish to be an officer of the law? Don't you want to see Jabari um, um, get justice for the, for the murder? And we have a transcript that he wrote. Because y'all remember he wrote the transcript yeah, uh -huh. about the drug thing going on at, at uh, Stansfield. He was like, you ain't under no, no obligation. But but can you please can you can, can you please you read it, can you please read it? So then we jumped and we saw Dante and Monet at uh, at her bar, and <laughs> <laughs> so she tells Dante, "Hey, I don't need your million dollars no more." We walked into the station and they let Zeke go, so we don't need your money anymore. And he was like, "You know what? Cut the BS." Matter of fact, your life is falling apart. 
Matter of fact, your life is a freaking ticking time bomb. Matter of fact, you, <coughs> you, 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 you need me right now. So I hear what you're saying. So he was like, okay, just yesterday you needed me to be Mr. Fix-It for you. Now today you don't need you me don't no need more. You because it all was fixed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so she was like, you know, I'm tired of living this fairy tale, you know, and yada, 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 yada. And he was like, well, this is the deal. It don't have to be a fairy tale. It don't have to be a fairy tale. Matter of fact, I'm not leaving New York until you leave with it me. <laughs> so he he definitely putting down, he putting down the demands. And I'm like, uh, Monet, you need to make a decision because we know that Diana is working on trying to get Lorenzo out of prison. So mm. Mecca is still pushing hard. Well, Dante is still pushing up hard on her. And at this point, it's like she really needs to make a decision to be with him. Or not. Because, but she needed to be, to be with him. because. But he done made life, the decision. But he yeah. said, I'm not leaving here without you. Yeah. That sounds like a threat to me. Yeah. So then we see uh, Tariq come in class and Carrie Royce on the board, comma. And so all the students were like, wait a minute. Uh, I, this one ain't under our reading the material. You know, what is this? And so she started to start asking them about karma. What does karma mean? And then she zeroes in on Tariq. Like, Tariq, what does karma mean? Obviously zeroes in on yeah, him. Yeah, zeroes in on him. And Tariq tells her what he think karma means. And she was like, no, yeah. that's <laughs> surface. I want you to dig deeper. And Tariq was like, uh, uh, I don't know what you're looking for. And, uh, yeah. and Tate was like, also, I don't know what you're looking for. <laughs> like, did y'all see how Tate walked up in there? Though? Yeah, he walked up in there. Come on, boy. <laughs> So she tells him basically, uh, karma is that when you commit your sins, basically it's gonna come back on you. It's Matter of fact, Tariq. yeah, <laughs> it, and it comes back on you fast and when you least expect it. And like you said, ain't that right, Tariq? So now she's on to Tariq because she done read the manuscript, but she still don't know that it is Tariq because we saw, uh, Later on the episode when she met with Lauren, because Lauren was like, I am done with this. I don't no longer want to wear this wire. <laughs> I ain't built for this. Mm -hmm. And Carrie was like, you know what? We getting We're closer. Close. Matter of fact, the cops don't think that Tariq did it no more. They think it's actually Brayden. Because she said, I shouldn't even tell you this information anyway. So she told uh, Lauren, the quicker you wear this wire and get all the information that they need, the quicker... You know, they can clear you and Tariq. And y'all can go live y'all everyday lives. Yeah. <laughs> but can we go back a little bit when Mecca, yeah. well, we're going to say Dante because that's what Monet know him as. When they were at, at the bar, because she told him, listen, I can't go to your little hotels no more because I don't trust myself around you. Pretty yeah. much every time we go to a hotel, I'm going to give you some. But he laid it on real thick with them papers. He said, oh, oh yeah, yeah. If you think that um I'm not going to take care of you, I'm going to take care of you and, and all, all of your the kids. kids. Yes. Here's the trust. I can file this paperwork right now. I said, Monet. <laughs> mm. Say setting you up pretty and your kids. I had to pause it. I said, oop, beneficiary, beneficiary, benefit. Yep. Go on leave with Dante. <laughs> but the thing about it, Dante acts like he got money from a trust fund and that he's not in no kind of life. So the life that he's telling her she's about to escape is the life that you are. Yeah. But I guess he look he he a little bit more polished with yeah, it. Yeah, a little bit more established in the business than she is. <laughs> then we see uh Tariq and Monet that Tariq oh well Monet confirms Tariq about lying about Ramirez because mm. she asked him did he know anything anything about it and of course him and Kane working together on this trying to hide it he tells her no so she was like uh basically. If Zeke didn't get off this gun that's on my lap, you was you was gonna be fitting to catch this bullet. And matter of fact, what you need to do for me to make this kind of make this right is I need you <laughs> to find out who is Kane's supplier. And I'm like, us knowing that it's Mecca, it's Dante, your it's your man. It's Dante. <laughs> so right after, so right after she leaves to reach, she goes to to uh to Kane. And basically, now she wants Kane to go and find out what Tariq's weakness is. <laughs> I said, so, so you I'm and like, are the same people. Yeah, so they basically, so basically, she playing both of them against each other, basically. Mm -hmm. So then we see Tariq meets up with um, Ghost's lawyer, 
and basically convinces him to represent him at the court. Now, this is his stipulation. He was like, <laughs> I'm going I'm going to represent you, but by tomorrow you better have every freaking thing that they need for you to win this basically win this custody hearing. Cuz I I'm not going outside the lines. I'm only going to basically tell them that the reason why I believe you should have custody because of the misuse of the, the funds, funds. <laughs> that big mom your big mama, mama, big mama big using, drunk, drunk. using the trust fund money to get, to, to, to get the liquor and the wine and skit. <laughs> wow, big mama. So that's the only thing that he gonna have. So he agreed to uh, do the custody case. Then we saw Drew and Everett together. They kicking it, celebrating the fact that Zeke got off. Then there was a knock at the door, and guess who it was? Mister Brand New Zeke. Zeke said, "Man, I'm focused now. You know, after this thing, I got my head on straight. You know, I'm colored. I'm hat. good. You know, I'm ready to get back out there and play." So I can go ahead and win this this draft, like you say, he done dyed his hair like Drew Hill. So he <laughs> he ready to go. <laughs> but at the same time, he talking to them. And he was like, um, how do y'all know, you, you know each other? And Drew was like, you know, at the club. That that so part he, that we're trying to forget about. Yeah. <laughs> he was like, oh, I say, you you didn't catch on to nothing. But right. we all talking about Zeke. We talking about Zeke. So that went like way over his head. So he didn't even think to ask no questions but about that. Drew was quick that. on his feet about but Drew it, was quick too. Yeah. So, but Zeke's supposed to be so focused, but he was like, you know what? Let me get out. Let me go show these girls this new hairstyle. So you still think about the girls, Zeke bro. Zeke the freak. Yep, Zeke because that's what that's what Drew said. So freak. you back Zeke the freak. <laughs> so then, because Tariq is in this pickle that he need to get this apartment, mm -hmm. and after being confronted with Monet, because we found out that Monet shut down Course Correct, which we already knew Monet yeah, shut down. That. Shut down course correct. So he need money. So he decided to talk to Diana and told Diana, I need you to get me some product without Monet knowing. And she was like, no, you need to tell me exactly what's going on here. Because she was like, a whole lot of skit been going on around here. So I need to know why you did. This. Then he came clean and was like, you know, I need to get money up to get an apartment so I can get custody of my little sister. And, you know, I need you to do this solid for me. She was like, well, dang. Like, that's, you know, fucked that's fucked up. <laughs> So we see that she uh, went and she talked to Kane, and Kane was like, "That ain't my problem. That's that little nigga problem. He gotta figure that out." And she was like, "Whether well, you gonna you either gonna help him out or I'm gonna let Monet know that you sugared her coat." He was like, "What you gonna go and do that?" It was like speculation. <laughs> yeah. You don't know that for sure. She said, "Well, why don't I go and tell her in front of you, and then y'all figure, we'll figure out why. who are lying?" He yep. over there talking about something. <laughs> I said, go on, chew that gum, Bobby. Yup. <laughs> so, then we see uh, Monet have went down to the prison to talk to Lorenzo to let Lorenzo <laughs> know that Zeke got off. She said, see, I told you to work yourself out. All you had to do is have a little faith. So, when they was talking, he gets a telephone call from Sachs saying, are you, are you free to talk? And so, he told Mo, hey, I need to take this. And she was like, Real? This what we doing? This what we doing right now? He was like, yeah. So when she left, he told um, Lorenzo told uh, Sax, I'll tell you whatever you need to know. So I'm like, so Lorenzo gonna start snitching now? That's exactly what I said. I said, first of all, have you even had a conversation with Sax before? Like I'm like trying to figure all this out. Like yeah, but and then yeah. then at the same time they talk about our family, you know, sticking together. And he's doing this behind her back and not even letting her know. So at this point, it seems like he don't even trust her anymore. Yeah. And then for her, it almost seemed like, is that another female on the other line? Like, yeah. that you don't want to talk in front of me? Like, but she can't really... Confront him because she's doing dirt behind her. Because she's she back. Pull, she's pulling her panties to the side, too. Uh, yeah. So... <laughs> All right, so now we see Tariq is following Kane in Lauren's nice BMW truck. That's yes, a nice, yeah, that's nice. a nice truck. So he's um, following Kane and taking pictures and video, and then he rolls up to you know where Kane was when he got into the apartment, and heck, come Nuff come around the corner and beat the brakes off of Tariq. I said a lot, but before that, Tariq had already seen that Braden was meeting up yeah. with Kane. 
And I said, first of all, why y'all always meet at the same spot? Yep, I need that bridge. <laughs> I said, Lord. So, the y'all remember Chef. I like Chef. You know, he don't let Chef me. scares the hell out of me. Yeah, Chef don't let nothing get by. So, the first thing he asked Kane was, do you know who he is? No. Kane I like, said, I don't. Tell I don't, the truth. No. Uh, so, then here come Mecca. He was like, you know who he is? Like, no. And Mecca just proceeds just to slice enough Nick without, without question. I mean, it's like, second time. It's like... Man, but you can tell this John Mecca scares Kane. <laughs> he <laughs> called the chef, yeah. and chef just said, "Just like, like slices look like." I said, "Dang, that could have been you, uh, Kane." Yeah, but it ain't gonna be. Mecca yeah. would never do that. Nah, he couldn't do that because that definitely ruined his chance with Monet. Yeah, for sure, for sure. But he don't know that. Nah, he don't know that. <laughs> All right, then we see uh. Davis go down there to uh, the prison and he's talking to you. We're going to call him Red Man. Yeah. Because, <laughs> you know, he's still trying to get him out of prison. And um, Davis was like, I will do anything. I can. I will willing to do anything to get you out of here. Mm -hmm. And he was like, I will willing to do anything to keep you out of here. And he was like, because um, Davis was like, I got, you know, sex trying to get Lorenzo out. So if he gets Lorenzo out, I'm going to pivot him your way. And he was like, but do you Rick, really want that? He though? said, do you really want that? Because you know some stuff, stuff can come up. Going to come up. It's like, oh, I'm I was like, like so what the oh. hell? So he taking a bid for the both of them. Yeah. So I'm like, what right the hell? It. Yeah. He was like, matter of fact, I'm doing good in here, man. I'm good. <laughs> he said, I got to go back to my knitting circle. <laughs> yeah, my knitting circle. <laughs> I said, but you know what? It, it made my heart feel so good because they like that for real and real That's life. That's why I'm to say, yep. That's, that's, that's their, their friendship. Yeah. Their friendship is like that. Just like that. And I believe that one of them would take it down for the other. I believe it too. No questions asked. No questions asked. So, the next, the, uh, so then we see Tariq in his late faction <laughs> shows up to the apartment showing late and the lady was like, no, oh, the apartment is no. no longer available. What I think was she seen this. She seen this. Yes, yeah, she seen him all busted up and was like, oh, no. Not in this we ain't movie. fitting to bring this kind of trouble up over here. Hey, and I'm, Could feeling, you I'm, I'm feeling, can you imagine you created trying to rent out your house or your apartment and the and the rent tees that's coming, they all busted up. Nah. I'm like, no. Nah. I'm like, I don't know what kind it's of skit rented already. Yeah, yeah. This, yeah, you can't. Yeah, you, you can't. You my skit up. So, Lauren, you know, she has a plan B. So she takes Tariq over to her brother's apartment and say, hey, my brother is in and out of rehab. So basically her brother. Not rehab. I mean, he was um, my brother's, mental um, institution. Yeah, mental institution. Yeah, I'm sorry. So I got the keys to his apartment that I can get here anytime I want. So I'm giving this to you temporarily so you can get yes. I was like, okay, oh. okay. I was like, I'm feeling, I'm feeling. I appreciate that, doing that for Tariq. Even though he don't deserve it. No, he don't. <laughs> so now Kane is hella hot with Monet because he told he told her, I know you sent Tariq to follow me around. So now you don't trust me. Because he you, had the phone. Right. And he was like, you you always talking about, you know, everything is always family and, and business with you. Um, Am I your son or am I, I your soldier? soldier? And she, she was like, both. But she said, what kind of mama does that make you? I said, ooh, ooh. <laughs> then he was like, ooh, did I go too far? No, it needed to be said. Yeah, it definitely needed to be said. Yeah, because she she put them kids through so much, man. She, she puts Kane through so much. The rest of them, too. Not as bad as Kane, though. Yeah, yeah. Tra yeah, Kane do get the worst end of the stick, though. Yeah, he do. But he do the most, too. Yeah, he do. So we see uh, uh, Monet snatches up Tariq before he get ready to go into the custody hearing and told him, you know, basically, hey, you almost, you almost made me lose Zeke, so I'm going to make you lose Yaz, yes, basically. Said, wow, she said, it's I like, want you to feel what I felt. I felt. Yeah, it's like, God, don't. I said, that ain't fair, though. Don't yeah, that that. Ain't, yeah. Although, so, he don't uh, need Yaz either. I said, how in the world he going to provide something stable for Yaz? When you constantly running drugs, yep. constantly getting your tail whooped. Ain't got no car. I mean, he, don't, <laughs> he got some good calf muscles. Yeah, like. boy. <laughs> and I'm like, and then you want to bring a little girl into this. Maybe she needs to be in foster care where she can be really taken care of. Yeah.
necessary. She needs to be far away from you and, and Big and Mama. And Big Mama. So Tariq tells uh tells Monet, you know what? I, I do have something. I, I know because she because you know he's supposed to be getting information about, about who Kane's connect. He was like, Well, I know it's Mecca and I know the address. She was like, Mecca? And an address. So. But I was like, it's crazy that she don't know Dante about Mecca. <laughs> so he was she was like, nah, that's not good enough. And she told him, said, now that I know what your, basically know what your weakness is, I got control over you. And he was like, well, you really, you really wrong about that because you really don't have control because Drew <laughs> is up there still messing with Everett <laughs> at the college. Diana stole the money from the <laughs> safe at the bar. At the bar. <laughs> and, uh, and, and Kane shook it to Coke. So that he could get back in the family. Yep. And she was like, and she's like, just gonna let him he out. He said, You need me. <laughs> yeah, you need me. And she <laughs> let she, she let him out the truck. I said, that was good thinking on your feet, bro. Yeah, it was good thinking. So of course he was late to the hearing. And y'all saw it. He won the custody case. He got yes. And I was like, please, Tariq, don't, 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 don't get yes. Um uh, hopes up and then you don't come through. So he did come through and she was like, you know, I always trusted you. I trust you, Reek. I was like, oh, Joe, oh, Joe. I said until today. Yeah. So after, after the, uh, after the hearing, we saw that Kamal and then was back at the college because they was doing the search uh, in Tariq's and Brayden's room. And I was like, here it go. It is. Uh, they going they going to find they going to find this badge but we got to remember back later in the episode what kind of spun that in for them to search was that when they was doing the research they found out about Braden and Reese thing back at uh at the Cho where they, where they was running the drugs at well the pre what yeah, I think was yeah the no. pre school they was running the drugs at so they was like this is a, a a good reason for them to let us do a search so they there doing the search and they find Ramirez's badge, man. That came post planted there. Yeah, that came planted there. So then we see Tariq coming back on the campus and everybody's That's looking. Right. And then we see Braden was like, and they th arrest Tariq. And I was like, wait, 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 wait. But y'all found the badge in both of their rooms. So why isn't Braden and Tariq in handcuffs? Until they figure it out. Right. Because that's in both of their room. But we know how that go. He's a witch. He's a witch. So they weren't about to put him in cuffs because there's going to be some hell to pay. So we see Tariq up inside the cell. Uh, and one of the guards came and said, your, um, your lawyer is here. I thought it was Davis. We thought it was Davis because we saw Davis had got a call. And he, he flagged down a taxi. So we thought it was him. But it was Ghost's lawyer. And he gives him... This envelope, he was like, what's this? He was like, your daddy told me to give this to you if you ever got arrested for a homicide. homicide. I was like, whoa. So he was like, I don't know what it is. He said, matter of fact, I was hoping, I was hoping that I would never. never have to give you this. You got to have a fucked up family for you to even have that in your conscience. To put that in an envelope right. for your kid. And you knew exactly what turn he was going to make. He knew, And I would say Ghost knew he was going to make that turn because, because the tree doesn't fall, fall far from the tree. The fruit don't fall from oh, yeah, the tree. Yeah, the fruit don't fall, fall that. Yeah. We tied. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all get it. So Tariq goes back to the cell and he reads the letter and Ghost said, I knew you would end up here, little oh, nigga. Man. Right where you belong. I was like, darn, man. But he wrote that as if he knew that his son was going to kill him one day. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> wait. <laughs> wait here. Ghost. Right. St. Patrick. Like, wow. So, we saw... Mecca and Monet once again up on this rooftop. And she was like, I don't know what to do no more. The kids don't trust me. They don't trust each other. Matter of fact, I think they need a fresh start. Matter of fact, I think I need a fresh start. Hmm. And so Mecca was like, okay, okay. Um, well, since you said it's fresh start, can I meet Zeke? And she was like, not right now. I need a little bit more time. I need to talk to them. So I'm 
saying that she's agreeing to be with Mecca now. I'm like, yeah, this fresh start. Until she goes home to tell the kids. So we heard somebody in there talking. I was like, who is oh, this? Oh, hell. She walks in the house, and guess who's sitting there talking to the kids? Mr. Lorenzo Tahala uh, is out of prison. He home, baby. It's about to be a whole... It's about to be a whole kerfuffle, man. It's about to go down. Woo. And I can't wait. And as a matter of fact, I don't think they, I don't think it comes back on until after Christmas. Christmas. Yeah. Yeah. So we gotta wait till after Christmas to find out. But I think this is a good Listen, cliffhanger. Monet has a tight baby. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she likes them. She so, likes them with close shaven heads and light brights. Yeah. So you trying to get a fresh start, but Lorenzo is fresh out. Whew. So I don't know what you gonna do, but we gonna be here to wait to see what's happening. But uh. This was a really good episode, y'all. It was good, but I say that there is still going to be a fail, um, a fail safe because the fact that Lawrence Watch picked up Kane, Kane yeah. in that dorm and he had no business being there. Right. Then all of a sudden, Ramirez's badge is located in said room. At some point, that skit's going to cross up and Kane going to put himself in the middle of a case. Right. Because they already looking at it. Yeah, they got his yep, they got his rap sheet and he got past criminal history. So yeah, I got a feeling that Tariq is gonna give Kane up. And why wouldn't he? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then he gonna get out there and then <laughs> Monet gonna kill him. It's just too much. It's too bad. <laughs> it's too bad, baby. <laughs> we just gotta face the reality. Yes indeed, y'all. But yeah, y'all get in the comments and let us know what y'all thought about the episode. And we're going to see y'all after Christmas. Strict and Merry Christmas, Yeah, Merry Christmas, y'all. And and Happy New Year, too. No. Straight from the VA. The Dirty Dirty South. Holla, boo.